remember last week we installed a lead light window and that was pretty scary, wasn't it? But it looked fabulous. So this week we're going to see that the pontoon is finished. Well, almost. Which is amazing after such a long period of time. Hello. Give me a wave. We also told you the professor's off to Johorbaru to work and the project is handed over to me. Mm, that's a bit of a worry. But he leaves me with lots of instructions. You need to do this. You need to watch that. Be careful of this detail and so on and so on. I hope I'm up to it. And Jandy comes to visit and she helps me with some architectural advice. Thank you. Check this out, gang. I'm about to have lunch on the jetty. After all this time, it's taken a long time, hasn't it? It's a pity the water is so brown, but check it out. See the walkway? See how you walk down there? <laughs> It's Saturday and the tilers are working today. They're actually tiling the bathroom so that you can see light on the floor. Now, with the skylight, which isn't finished, so it will improve. The builders need to put in a frame and then the plaster comes. And miss the fence. Miss the fence. Huh? Um. Yeah, Sue said he wanted to talk to you. So there's evidence that the painter has been here preparing. It's good to have some action. So it's all happening here today, gang. The painters are getting ready to paint, which means they're covering up all the tiles. The steel's been put up there, so it means when the tile has come, all of that 
uh, veneer can be finished. Maybe I'll get to move in here soon. We'll be happy because at the moment we need somewhere to live. Without a doubt, the greatest difficulty has been getting the correct colours, both exterior and interior. It's been quite a journey. So you can see that I've needed to match roof tiles, balcony tiles, with various different colours. So what happened was the original painter painted everything yellow. We embarked on an extensive exercise of trying to find the right colour. Manila. Parchment. Parchment, Manila. Because the professor was now in Johor Bahru, it meant that I took photos and videos and tried to demonstrate the paint colours so that he could also participate in the choice. That one, that one's 25% less. talked about the colour. They thought Manila was quite weird. You don't really get to see how it sits until the internal walls are completed. But that's another story. This video features the Arctic collection Veneer Stone which has come up fabulous in our house. The stone downstairs has been put in place because we could possibly get flooding down there. Notice how it all comes together like a puzzle. This stone is designed with interconnecting pieces. It's pretty clever and the tilers were like craftsmen putting this puzzle all together. This is not a paid advertisement. This is just simply because I'm impressed with the product. Oh, and architect daughter Jandy, as I said, came to visit and she was very impressed as well. Jandy has recommended this to a number of clients because the finish looks fabulous and completely changes the old fashioned brick that sat behind in the original walls. Juliet balconies, a special feature of our house in keeping with our Italian theme. Yep. Sat down. Yep. Master builders. <laughs> Do it again. No, no. Do it again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, serious. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> However, with the narrow stairway, one of our Juliet balconies, we've had to design with hinges to enable it to open whenever we have large items of furniture or refrigerator, whatever, to move it upstairs. 
So the hinge is critical. The balconies will look absolutely fantastic. So what what I'm going to do is so pleased that we have these features incorporated to open. Special design by the company in Melbourne. Remember a number of videos ago, we went sailing and we brought the yacht Aurora from Gosford to Port Macquarie. Well, there she is, still sitting in the Hastings River, still waiting for us to take her sailing. But of course, in the meantime, as I explained last video, I've had a few times crewing in the yacht races which is fabulous. The Port Macquarie Yacht Club is desperate for more boats. They're a great team and I hope that we can get Aurora in the races sometime soon. We've missed the twilight season now, which is a bit of a shame, but there's always next season. Here on the Long River Race, I've been able to see the house from the yacht. <laughs> There's something majestic about sailing, especially in light winds. Just have a look at these yachts. Join us next week when more happens with the house and we start thinking about moving in. The professor comes back from Johor Bahru to get things on the go as I need a place to live. <laughs>